Hey guys, welcome into the channel, beautiful souls. Um, this is Sage Sensor Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here, and I really do hope that you're doing well in this time. I want to thank all 3,000 out of you for being here on this journey with me. So, do continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All of your support is abundantly appreciated. So, we're going to take some random general messages about what's going on in the world. So, I'm going to take a look at the next three months so we're talking about january february march so bear with me here let's see what i can do with these cards um to see if we can uh i don't know do a prediction message for what to expect three months ahead and this is in the globally 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 remember that we're on one ship together sometimes we forget that you know you're just in different parts and we haven't seen the entire ship yet and um you know we don't know what's going on in this world <laughs> really um so maybe this that what i just said has something to do with the messages that we're about to get so welcome in breathe with me here let's see what we can do i hope to serve you well i'm gonna shuffle the cards and then i'll get back to you you know I did not realize how important connection is. I don't connect easily with others. I tell myself, and so I still separate. Even like I stay in one room, someone may be in another room, and I'm not speaking. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a thing. I realized for survival or for the survival of humanity that we have to connect. Like how else will we survive if we don't connect? You know, and this is what um, people have been saying for a long time, but I didn't realize it. You know, when we watch movies like Saw or Escape Room and we see like people get trapped in a situation where they have to figure out how to get come out. Viewers know that they are all connected by a common thread. And if all of them would just be honest in the first place and just say, listen, this is why I'm here and so on and so forth. This is who I am. They would have figured out why they're there and thus escape how I feel when we watch those movies, right? But when we watch the movie, we see people panicking. We see people going into their own personalities, trying to survive on their own, in their own way, how they learn to survive and so on and so forth. Um in fright or flight mode, you know what I mean? You know, panicking all over the place instead of coming together. So when people start panicking in those movies, what happened? The one that panics first normally ends up first. And, you know, people just start getting, you know, the numbers decreasing more and more because people are panicking. So if there's at that time when people begin to come together to say listen i realize that there's something about you that is similar in me if we can look at the clues maybe there's something that we can put together to figure out what's really going on here before eventually all of us just die here so you know we see that in the movie and i want to come back in reality to say that we look at the world in its state and each person is trying to survive on their own and we're not connecting. We need to learn how to connect. Were we taught that? You know what I mean? There's a truth in connectivity. And to realize there's one thing that binds us, one story that we're all a part of. That if we should only share authentically, because truly what is there to hide? You know, let those without sin cast the first stone, so to speak, in this world. What is there to hide? What is there to know? So, you know, if we come together, we speak. Because truthfully, the things that we experience, there's nothing new underneath the sun. So it's like all a game, literally. Because what can you, there's nothing new under the sun. You know what I mean? So if you, what is the worst that you could have done that would be so unforgiving that you can't say it if it needs to be said, if you need to be open or to be authentic, if that's what needs to be done for you to connect, to be that other plug that plugs into the connection collectively 
assisting with the healing process or the survival of our planet. So for me, as I sit here, what is preventing me from connecting or having a connection? I can't figure out what not. You know, so it's for you to ask yourself next, what kind of connections do I have with those around me? Like real, real life connections. How am I connecting my true self? you don't even have to be very talkative because I'm not but how are you connecting you know what I mean it's just important for you to connect so people know who you are so they know the component of you right maybe that makes sense all right So let us take a look at what we can expect happening around the globe within the next three months. So that is until March. And the first card on this table is the Jack of Wands. It feels like an energy. It's not one person. An energy will be rose up or risen up that affects a lot of people maybe their wealth too their investments their savings their energy this energy has a lot to do with arousals as well like sexual arousals this energy came because of the people that were investing they were investing their time somewhere else sleeping it's almost like they were investing in a process of falling asleep like they were, they were investing themselves in a process of falling asleep. And so they were, they weren't really holding on to something else that they sh should have been paying attention to, possessions. They will be lost in like flood, flood waters or fire or damnation. And the only thing that these people will have is the process of sleeping that they were committing to themselves to or investing in. You know what, these people, they were not listening to their hearts. They allowed this energy to cover up the light of their hearts, but it's not covered. You know what I mean? It's not covered, but it is. It's not dead, but it's covered. So this energy that's going to arise up and affect a lot of people because of people's emotions too fear and panic it's not going to affect it's going to affect some big some big ballers you know what i mean but it's not going to affect the biggest ones like it will affect the jack but not the king and the queen because of this fire i feel a lot of fire energy like this beast is risen up and it has been summoned because people have been investing their sleep into it because <laughs> this this is a new job that these people are doing it's as if they've left their old life behind they've forgotten about the house and the cars and they've now invested all of their time into this new job it's like a trance but it is what this new job, you know, energy has to go somewhere. It was what was feeding this beast. It sensed it. These people literally summoned this energy and it came through. And it is, it is the thing that is causing them to raise their head 
from maybe the sleep synopsis, some of them are deeper in sleep than others. And uh, people will start losing cars and houses will be swept away. Some people will break out of this new job, which is this new job, which is this sleep synopsis to go chase after the things that they're losing, like their material possessions. But it's as if this beast that has come came with a fire on its head. You know what I mean? I don't know what that means. But it's a thing, though it's risen up. You know, it's giving me the energy of... I'm not going to say that. So even though it is the beast, the beast himself is ugly, whatever these energies are. It is the thing on his head like the fire that is most feared. I don't know. Um, I want to get to the part where I feel like a lot of people will be having their Bibles open in their homes. I just felt that energy. Like some of the people that have broken out of the trance completely because I feel like their bodies are free. From they, they, they are not committed to the sleep synopsis anymore. I'm not even sure if they've connected with their heart space, but I feel like they've just thrown something away. You know, waking up and throwing away that job that they were working at or something like that. The new sleep synopsis job. They woke up from it, some people. I'm getting the energy of a female in a, in a robe with a Bible on her nightstand. Like women, honestly. I'm getting the energy of women opening their Bibles up inside. In this time, there will be fire, I feel. Maybe prior, maybe loss, torment. And this is karma because of what people have been investing their time and energy in. It's been summoned. So this beast has come for the real now, you know, because it's been getting the energy while it itself was sleeping. So now that it's awakened, so it's like, whatever have you been eating? What's your, what have you been consuming? Yeah. It's going to be evident because an energy that's going to roar up, that's going to be the a representative of the collective energies of what people have been consuming the most and i feel it's a lot of fear and maybe sex as well that kind of energy the seven deadly sins you're gonna need to draw for your ace of swords it's like your fortification of spirit of word of fate as well There's something that has to do with the sleeping times. The times that you were invested in the sleep synopsis. It's going to help you. Maybe people are going to be broadcasting, documenting on their phones. Let's see where that leads us. feels like a change it's the change that was not expected it was the underhanded change maybe because one person made a decision to stream maybe live I don't know perhaps something and because of that something happens That maybe gets the collective energy involved. Because the beast was here to really get the souls. That's what he came for. But the souls. Uh, 
you know, they had more spirit than the beast thought. And more clever, honestly. These people are smart. That's how I feel. They're going to remember something about their heart space. It feels like the Bible or the Word. You know what I mean? It's like chanting. Like whispering a prayer. The energy of whispering a prayer. Maybe people have been kneeling by their beds praying. You know what I mean? And it's like this, there's a, this collective energy in itself. Because it's more faith than fear now that it's facing. Because it's come for the, for the souls. But he found that the souls had more spirit than he thought. And the, the spirits are going to do even greater things like creating energies collectively together through word, through prayer, meditation, whatever. And then this beast that came up will somehow back off itself. And there's something about the fire that was on the top of his head. As if it's become, it's, 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 it's transformed and left here in this realm. I can't explain it otherwise. You know, like he didn't take it back with him, this beast. But it's, it's not left the same on earth. You know, like maybe turned into a stone perhaps or a monument or something like that. And it's, it's almost like it's telling me that this is how this monument got here. Like it's already done this time. You know, so it's, maybe it's telling me the history of a certain landmark or a monument. Because the Jack of Swans now feels like something like that. Like in remembrance of that time. And it's really honestly about the spirit of the people. And the word. Empowerment, self-empowerment. Goku vibration, Kamehameha, powering up inside out. You know what I'm saying? Like this beast thought. But it, you know, it kind of meant it's match because maybe it underestimated. I feel like it wasn't told the entire truth. That's how I feel like. Someone said, go get these people. Ha ha ha, eat them all. But it really was not informed of the true strength. Someone lied to this beast. You know what I mean? So it's really, it's going to be up to this beast and this person that lied. And it could be the king and the queen of wands that didn't show up in the beginning. The bigger, bigger heads, you know. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yes, believers. So that's what I have for this message. I hope you found something that inspires you and is able to help you along your journey. If you did like, share, comment, subscribe, you know. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember to walk good. Eat well, walk good. Remember that all is within you. Thank you for coming through. Um, I think that's that. CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. CMOS has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs, like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium-grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com.